Stephen Robbins here. Welcome to the Get It Done Guys, quick and dirty tips to work less and do more. Today's topic is sleep and how to get there faster. Denise writes, my main problem these days is insomnia. Got any tips for getting a good night's sleep? How do you turn off your brain and prepare your body for sleep? The quick and dirty summary, get your busy thoughts onto paper, then orient your mind to slow, drifty sleepiness. Hi, Denise. We'll cover several techniques in this episode. By the way, if you're listening to this while driving or operating heavy machinery, pause it and listen later. You need to stay alert and awake. Otherwise, you could miss that roadrunner that zipped by, chased by a coyote holding a box of Acme Roadrunner food. If you're not driving, keep listening. I used to try what most people do. Worry. Talk to myself. I'd say things like, I didn't get my taxes done today. I really should do them tomorrow. And what about that proposal I'm late for? And you know, that Safeway checkout clerk was a real jerk. Hey, clerk and jerk. That rhymes. I wonder what rhymes with checkout. Chi. Hmm. That's a real recipe for going down to happy, safe sleep land. To stop worrying, keep a pad and pencil next to your bed. Before your head hits the pillow for a good night's sleep, jot down all the things you have to worry about on the pad. Let the pad worry for you. Tomorrow morning, you can start the day by rereading your list and worrying again. Or you can do like I do and accidentally light the pad on fire with a blowtorch. Either way, your head is now clear and ready for sleep. The time-honored way of getting to dreamland is by counting sheep. To us, sheep are boring, so that puts us to sleep. But to other sheep, it's like us counting Zac Efron, Angelina Jolie, Matt Damon, Demi Moore, Liz Taylor. Since I was a sheep in a past life, counting sheep doesn't put me to sleep. It's more like reading Sheeple magazine. So instead, I tried counting politicians. One, two, no, no, I disagree. No, NAFTA never, oh, I'm not asleep. Okay, that doesn't work either. There has to be a better way to fall asleep. And there is. Don't count sheep. Count body parts. Yours. If you count someone else's, it will wake you back up. And while you're counting, relax. Start with your head. Notice your scalp. Imagine what it looks like. Notice how it feels. Tighten your scalp just a bit so you can feel the muscles. Then relax it. Do that for your face. Tighten and relax. Jaw, neck, shoulders, arms, chest, and so on down your body. By the time you get to your toes, your body will be like a big tub of melted butter. Bliss. Now, close your eyes and start to notice your thoughts. If you talk to yourself in that old worry voice, slow the voice down. Talk slowly to yourself. You can even yawn mentally. Hey, are you driving? I told you not to listen while driving. Snap out of it, wake up, listen later. Sheesh, some people. Now that you're uh, thinking slowly... Start paying really close attention to the colors behind your eyes. Watch the pretty patterns. You'll see uh, swirls and colors and dots. When you see a darker dot, for me it's usually the black ones, imagine you're falling into it and it's getting bigger and bigger. Relax your neck and really feel like you're falling backwards into... Oh, <clears throat> hello. Excuse Sorry. Sorry about that. Mm. A couple of other tricks will help, too. A sleep researcher I met at a youth hostel shared this one. Only use your bed for sleeping and sleep in a customary position. You'll literally train your body and mind that when your head hits the pillow, it's a signal for your body to prepare for sleep. Just in case you do uh, other activities in bed, start thinking more creatively. There's a reason kitchen counters are covered with linoleum. And my final tip, combine sleep, weight loss, and studliness in one happy package. Hire an evil trainer like Tyler to help you work out so you're so physically exhausted you just can't stay awake. Sweet dreams. This is Steve Robbins. If you have a question about how to work less and do more, you can also find a transcript of this episode at getitdone.quickanddirtytips.com. You can follow me on Twitter with follow Get It Done Guy. Work less. 
do more, and have a great life.